Hi, it's Iona here, and I'm in the studio, Ren House Studio, and today I am repurposing several canvases that I collected out of the uh, reject pile at the studio, museum studio. A lot of times the kids will play on a canvas and they won't really have the outcome that they want. We all know that feeling. And so they want to pitch the canvas. And anyone who works with me learns very quickly, we never throw art materials away. Paper comes from trees, we value it. Canvas, brushes, paint itself, all very much of an investment. So we want to make it work, right? Make it work. So I collect the canvases that the kids feel just don't work for them. And I usually find a way to repurpose them. So today I wanted to just share with you a few of these. So this they're all 8x10 canvases right now. And I'm doing a semester on collage at the museum with the homeschool group. So it's about eight kids, and we're working on the idea that uh, we can create all different kinds of collages, but we're ending the semester with Eric Carl. And Eric Carl is just a wonderful um, artist for using collage materials in a real imaginative way. Many artists are, and he's one that uses primarily tissue paper. And he gets white tissue paper and he paints it. And that's a whole process in itself. But today what I'm doing is a few of these reject canvases that I'm taking and making into demonstrations for the kids. I don't usually do demonstrations, but I thought we could all benefit from thinking about reusing, repurposing art materials that generally get binned. And so today I have put onto this black canvas. I put an underpainting of black paint and then I put on top of it this um, black mica flakes. And now I've got some texture going on on this particular canvas. Our topic, always good to have a way that we're moving our, our imagination in a particular direction uh, for focus. So our focus and our theme for this ending of the semester is water health, uh, primarily because there is a wonderful competition taking place here citywide for school children where they can express their love, their concern, their interest in water and water health. So we're picking up on that uh, theme and I'm using these canvases for my demonstration and also for repurposing. So I wanted to uh, share the black with the black mica. Uh, this particular canvas I'm currently working on, it's drying. The kids had painted over it with the uh, seafoam green, but now I'm going over top of it with the white tissue paper and also brown drop cloth paper, which is a kind of, it's almost like a very thin craft paper that is like parchment. I love it. I just adore this paper. So I'm using that as my... Um, I'm putting it on with matte medium as a collage technique, both the tissue and the craft paper, putting it onto this canvas, and then that's going to get painted over and other elements will be collaged on. Now I want to take this canvas, this last canvas. Uh, it is a vertical orientation from the young artist who painted this piece oh so many years ago. Uh, probably at least three years ago. And I'm just going to take this canvas and I'm going to uh, put a coat of gesso over the top of this canvas just to push this color back. And again, you know, to kind of reclaim it, make it my own canvas, even though it was destined for, uh, well, she wanted to give it to me as a gift, but I'd say it was destined for the bin. So I take my brush, get it wet, put a little bit of gesso on the brush, not much at all, and then I just begin to go over the canvas because my intention is to keep the color to some extent, but to also push it back so that, once again, as, you, as I mentioned, it can be you know, my canvas now and no longer does it belong in any way to the artist who originally created the work. Because these are canvases 
that are focused on the topic of water health and the beauty of our waters on the planet, uh, it's going to become something that's oriented in that direction. But for now, I've now pushed the, inner, the um, color back, and I can play with that. I can lay in some cheesecloth, just working rather spontaneously. I don't have a plan in mind, and I'm just going to tear the cheesecloth piece and then stretch it out again and lay it in as part of my composition. And I can definitely trim this off, trim the edges off when I, uh, I get to that point. But I'm just going to lay the cheesecloth down on the canvas in that fashion. And of course I'll show you how these turn out after I have completely worked on them. And I'm going to go over that with a little bit thicker gesso. Again, just for some texture and to give me some kind of a further jumping off point for how I might consider making this my own composition. So now I've got just gesso on top of what the artist had offered me before. I have also a piece of canvas reject here and I'm going to take this one and I'm also going to place the uh, gesso over top of it. This one has a lot more texture on it already and I love that. So I'm just going to go over it with the, can with the um, gesso right out of the jar to pick up some of the texture and I'm going to leave some of the color on the edges. So now these four substrates are prepared to go further and I'll meet you up on the next video and we'll look at how they unfold a little bit further now. Okay. And there we go.